Hi, everybody. Um, so these are our bell peppers. They're, they're blooming beautifully. Look, I've got five in a row. Isn't that something? One there, and then four. And then we had uh, picked one yesterday of the... Uh, of the, what, what's the, the name of that? The blonde, the blonde, blonde bell, bell pepper. pepper. Yeah, it was huge. It's in the house already. I just pulled this beet for you. Oh, gosh, Frankie. Well, we got any more? Yeah, no pull? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, man. That's so a tiny. dud. Oh, it's a tiny one. It's okay. We'll plant more. Oh, jeez. Tiny. Getting smaller and smaller. This is pretty decent. Oh, that's I'd leave that one. It's probably the big one. These two are growing together. It's tiny. They're like radishes. Well, we could cut off that bottom. Yeah, probably should have left that guy. <laughs> yeah, pull this one. We'll, we'll, pull we'll plant more, yeah. Uh, we could take that. Not bad. I mean, they were. So we could take that. Look, we could cut that right there and put it right back in the ground and it'll reroot it. Maybe. Don't pluck that one. Um, but see, you should show them. I mean, they were all dead like this. Yeah, like, you they made had that. no leaves. And then I brought them back to you life. You made that cover, yeah. That's the awesome. The first one I pulled is the biggest one, huh? So let's get a knife and cut that root off and oh, then stick it right in the ground. Like let's that. try it. Got nothing to lose. Let's try it, Frankie. So anyway, over here, I bought um, scallions. And um, I kept the uh, root and the on the bottom and we had planted it and look this is put it in water. what was it yeah i put it in water first you're right frankie for like three days and uh the roots were unbelievable so we stuck them in here and um wow it's unbelievable look at that it's like the biggest one's got the less roots and it's growing better than all of them and then um i gave a lot of um mint leaves to my sister and um there's my sage what's this frankie what are you growing over here I don't, I don't know. I found it. Stuck it in there. You stuck it in there? And I did all my basil. I did all my basil. I cut the heck out of it um, to make the um, pesto. So these are all seeds up here. You could you could take that off. Take that tip off. Banana tree's doing better. I cut those beat-up leaves off that the hailstorm did. Ooh, get out of here. There's a bee. And then um, I gave my sister a whole bunch of uh, parsley. I have. She's getting the pollen. Oh yeah, I have two um, huge bags of fresh parsley. Like that's growing like crazy. I know. This is my regular parsley. It's doing really good up here, you and that's my though. Italian uh, parsley that I've really cut. And uh, look at, oh my goodness, isn't that beautiful? My lavender. I wonder if it smells. My rosemary, um, rosemary. Let me smell. Oh my God, it smells so good, Frankie. The lavender smells so good. God, it's beautiful. My German thyme. I've been cutting the heck out of that too. It's growing like a weed. And there's my dill. It's doing really good. I gave my sister so much, so I've been uh, freezing it. You can hang it upside down to dry with a rubber band. That's what I usually do for many years, but that's my sage, and um, I've been cutting that and hanging it upside down to dry out, so we're doing good. I'll bring you over to my um, lemon tree. Does anybody guess what that is? It smells like licorice. When you scratch it, it smells like licorice. Do you know what it is? Any Italians know what that is, if it smells like licorice? Oh my gosh, something smells so beautiful over here.
and so healthy. Does anybody guess what that is? You told them what it was. Yeah, wow, they look good. Let's cut those roots off on the bottom, Frankie. Let's just stick them right back in and see what happens. I don't think it'll work, but... Give it a whirl. Give it a whirl. Something smells so beautiful over here. I've got my gardenia blooming. I've got uh, three bushes, two in the front and one back here. My lilacs. My sister, my sister grew that from a little teeny branch, and it's, gosh, it's beautiful. I got my fig. Your grapes. Oh, you see the yeah. red flowers going out of there? I don't know what that is. That's pretty. It is. This is my brother's fig. It's really hardy this year. I had so many um, figs last year, and this year I'm gonna. It was doing good till we had that freeze. It would be doing way better. Oh, that hail. We had hail twice. Well, then we had a, it froze. Everything froze after spring. We had a freezing temperatures. So I'll show you um, lemons. the lemons that we have growing. They're a little beat up from the hand. You can see little dots from them. But these got, these are the best ones here. They're the biggest. Hang on, let me see. The leaves on that way. They yeah. sh they're strong too. They really hang on there. Yeah, we so got lemon, we got a lot of them. And grapefruit tree. Yep. Any more on top? No, that's it. They got like what two, four, six, seven, eight of them. Is that eight of them? That's pretty good. There was like sixty, but you can only get so many from. Those are the big, big ones down there. Pretty hardy. We're excited. They're about two months old. So it's a lemon and orange. Orange and grapefruit. Yeah. The grapefruit leaves, you can tell, are so much bigger. Yeah. What they did is they spliced it together. You can see I actually took some of the vine, uh, moss, the Spanish moss from Florida. Yeah. Well, that's it, guys.